Hi guys. Well, you know we always have a bunch of projects going on, so uh, we had to go hit the salvage yards here to see what we could find for getting things done. beginning of our next solar panel project we got one down at the bottom and uh, got three more of them set in here these were used panels but they're supposed to be around 330 watts each so that should make a pretty decent array another fun thing that uh, we just got a hold of is a couple of these uh, EG4 batteries these are lithium-ion they're 48 volt and um, 100 amp hours each so we got two of those so that'll kind of be the foundation of a 48 volt uh, solar system So here's the beginning of our solar pole mount. Found a piece of tube that slips over our uh, five inch reject pipe and uh, that's gonna be able to uh, rotate on the top of this pole so that we can adjust the solar panels as we need to. And then there'll also be an uh, additional way that we can change their angle. So we got that part. And then over here, we got some 3 8 inch steel uh, the guys at Stefan Welding in South Sioux City were nice enough to provide this for us, so that saves the trouble of finding some small pieces of metal in this day and age. And we're going to make two of these uh, for the solar panels to change their angle on. Got a cap in here so it's time to glue her in.
here's where we're at with the swiveling top caps so far. Um, fabricated a couple of ears that are going to get welded to the top of the pipe cap that we've made. And uh, there'll be a bolt here for a beam to pivot on. And this is our beam. Um, this was salvaged material. And of course it came off of something that looks like it was in a wreck. So uh, it does have a twist in it. And I don't know how well that shows up looking at it this way, but you can see there's definitely a difference from one side to the other. This is ultimately what the solar panels will be resting on and will also create the framework underneath of them. So this is uh, some typical strut material. It's a kind of a universal material, but uh, should have a pretty decent amount of strength. do a temporary post installation here just so I can uh, make it easier to see what I'm going to do uh, for building the solar panel array mount. I've become a big fan of using a vacuum cleaner for drilling holes. It makes getting the dirt out of the hole so much easier. I've drilled dozens of holes in this place for fences and posts and such um, but it's all nice sand. It's not like on the mountain but this will definitely make uh, work progress quicker and easier. Okay, and there we got a 24 inch hole. This is what we've got so far. Got a couple of braces that go up to this uh, piece of bar with holes punched in it. And uh, by changing 
the location of those bars and the holes and get different angles on this uh, main beam here. So I have this tool here that measures angles so I can uh, get an idea of where I needed to punch those holes that I have in this. Um, for our latitude, what I could find that I needed for angles is during the winter I was going to have to be at about 22 degrees. And then for uh, spring and fall I was going to have to be at about 46 degrees. And then finally in the summer it was going to be about 70 degrees. So I made the holes so it gets about those angles and a few in between so I can play around with it if I want to. And I can always add more holes if I want to add more angles to it. After mocking things up, uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence in the strength of the middle section, so I've added these two pieces of uh, heavy angle iron to the backbone part. And hopefully that will stiffen up the center of our uh, super strut and it should uh, prevent some flex and things like that in it. So I think this will be a good addition to things and doesn't add a huge amount of weight. got these nuts that fit inside of it and they have a spring on them that's uh, intended to hold them up in place and the corners are rounded off so that you can drop them down inside and when you turn them the grooves lock into these channels on each side Yeah, that looks a lot sturdier.
Okay, so here's the mount um, with the framework set up for the panels to lay on. And then the panels will get bolted down through these nuts here. That's what the nut looks like and they have a spring on the bottom of them so that when you put them into the strut, just press them down, give them a twist, and then you have a threaded location to screw into. So the next time you see this thing will be out on the mountain. Uh, we'll get some primer put on it, um, get some lock washers for different things to put on it for the final assembly. But otherwise it looks like it came out pretty decent. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And uh, there's a lot more to come to our solar system. This is just to get the panels up. Uh, We've got a lot of other components that are going to go into an all new system, so be sure to subscribe so you can stay in the loop. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.